Well, hello YouTube, it's me, Sassy Stacy, and I'm here today with my favorite thing in the whole wide world to review, a Tri Treat Snack Crate. I love candy, and I love different candy, and I like strange candy. I like the new candy that comes out that's limited edition. I love candy, okay? Do you get it? Do you get that little candy? Well, this month's snack crate is from Poland, which I don't think I've ever gotten before. Um, I've gotten, I think, the Ukraine. I'm trying to think of the other European countries I've gotten. I don't know, but uh, let's uh, let's look at this. Let's see. Let's see. What about Poland here? All right. We got this month's treat comes to you from Poland, a country in Europe close to the Baltic Sea, steeped in tradition and culture. Poland is known for many things, including being the birthplace of Frederick Chopin, um, and it is one of Europe's most beautiful and oldest cities. There you go. Uh, or has one, is not one, because it's a whole country. <laughs> um, okay, so that's that. And then over here it says Poland facts. Really? 38 million Polacks out there. Uh, they mostly speak Polish. Uh, capital is Warsaw. <laughs> For climate, it just says temperate. Okay, here you go. Formal. Poland's formal name is something I can't pronounce, <laughs> uh, but it stands for the Republic of Poland. Um, bum, bum, bum. There is not a whole lot of uh, facts here that are pronounceable. Um, it is estimated that 100 million uh, packs of Polish donut are consumed every year on the Thursday before Ash Wednesday alone. So Ash Wednesday, if I'm remembering, is the first day of Lent or the beginning of Lent and then you have to give up stuff. So maybe they give up donuts and they want to get their fill before, I don't know, before Lent. Okay. Um, and then let's let, have a look at what we got here. Let's first count these streets. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12. We got 12 treats. Um, I believe one of them is a bonus treat, and it's one of those uh, ginger wafers that I've gotten in the past few boxes. So we don't have to worry about putting that in, but we have 11. I'm just going to double count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We have 11 treats to try today, and I'll introduce them as we go, um, and then we'll rate them from my least favorite to my most favorite, 10 to 1. All right, let's start with the one and all. I'm not going to enjoy it all. The prawn crackers. These fish flavored chips, man. I mean, I guess those who like them really do. But it ain't me. Oh. As expected. Which is a shame. It does have a really strong fish smell right out of the thing. Which is off putting to me, but it might not be to most people. I understand that. Once I chew it up, the flavor's fine. I do love the texture. The amount of salt on them is perfect. I really wish they weren't prawn flavored because I would eat the crap out of this bag if it were pretty much any other flavor. But I'll take these to work and uh, the guys at work will eat them right up. <laughs> I'm going to put that up there for now because it's such a big package. All right, I'm going to put these over here. Next up, let's start with some of these wafer bars. We've got a lot of wafer bars. We'll try, oh, and I forgot to read about the prawn chips. The prawn chips aren't even on here. I guess that's how how much of a staple they are. We all just know what prawn chips are. Okay, <laughs> let's move on to the Chalwa Krawaska. I don't think this is it. This might have to be a game of uh, process of elimination. Prince Polo, Prince Polo. There we go, Prince Polo are by Olza, a chocolate wafer with four layers and robed in a coat of milk chocolate. Since the introduction of Prince Polo wafers in 1955, they've been Poland's best-selling candy. Well, I can't wait. 
I do enjoy a nice wafer. It's a nice light treat that's not generally super rich and uh, packs a flavor. Hmm, it's got dark chocolate and I like that. This is the classic Prince Polo. Nice. All right, let's try this guy, the Powellec. Toffee by Weddell. Lee Weddell is a unique candy bar consisting of an outer layer of rich chocolate surrounding an inner layer of creamy filling. Uh, the chocolate is a the chocolate and cream complement each other wonderfully. It says here. Oh, and I think I just figured out which one Chihuahua was. <laughs> I know I'm saying that wrong. <laughs> I know I'm gonna pronounce everything wrong. Uh oh. Okay, you know, mm. 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 I like that cream a lot. It's almost a little boozy. <laughs> mm. All right, it, they do complement each other wonderfully, as as described. Definitely, it's like a. It's like a, it reminds me of the boxes of chocolates in Canada, maybe even Nova Scotia. I don't even know if this was wrong, right? It might have been, but anyway, besides the point, we used to get the pot of gold chocolates and this tastes like, I think the vanilla cream, but with a hint of booze to it. It's a, I love it. Wonderful. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Um, we'll go with this guy next. The Mikaski Wafel Mechno or Zinkachowski. It's a wafer with peanut filling in milk chocolate. And it says here that it's a butter based Havla candy. Havla is a traditional street, a traditional treat that is crumbly in texture and made from tahini, which is sesame paste, and other nut butter, such as sunflower seed butter. Let's try it out. It's already got a little crack on this end, so we'll start down here. Do do, okay. Uh-oh. Mmm. 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 This is really good. This is very good. So I get chocolate melty all over my dress. I gotta be a little more careful. So, stand your way for bar. Light on the peanuts. The way the packaging indicated, I thought there was going to be pieces of peanuts in there. It's more of a peanut butter, but like a whipped peanut butter. It's a very light flavoring of peanuts. Mm, very malty chocolate, which is a good sign of quality chocolate. You won't see that. You won't see that on an American chocolate bar, but most European chocolate definitely has that. Let's try some Dre's with a word I can't pronounce. And it says here, Dre's by Jagrenza are round spheres with a delicate melty taste that melts in your mouth. These spheres, spheres consist of a thin, crispy outer shell with an aromatic, soft, creamy center and a bullet. It is a blissfully traditional Polish treat. Oh, I love this kind of line. For the tearing. Oh. oh. Hmm. These are like fudgy almost in texture. 
Definitely like just little balls of white, balls of white chocolate. Uh, I wouldn't say it's crunchy, but I would say it's crispy. Um, and quite lovely. It's got a nice aftertaste again. European chocolate, man. Oh, it's the bomb. Let's try this clown stuff. By Skawa Dre's, the Orgesty Clown. What's this look like here? This says, uh, it's a Polish confection that combines the joy of snacking with a playful presentation. These peanut treats are delicious and visibly charming, making them popular a popular choice for those seeking a unique snack. All right, Dre's Clown Oreski. <laughs> Deranged Clown Oreski. All right. Oh, oh, that's a big one. All right, right up to get. I'm just on my, like, sorry, <laughs> that was English, believe it or not. It's like a candied peanut that's been dipped in chocolate. And it's quite lovely. Mmm. I like these a lot. Yep, these have nice crisp outer shell. Well, not crisp, but like a crispier outer shell. Well, it's a peanut, a candy peanut does. Mmm, and the chocolate was so nice. Oh my god. Mmm, so far, we have a front runner. Mmm, let's get back to the crackers. How about a BB complete? Petite burr, it says. Baby biscuits are biscuits that are sweet in taste and crunchy in texture. They come individually wrapped and are a light and convenient snack to take on the go. We recommend trying them with a cup of tea. I'll throw it with a glass of water. That's what I got. But, all right, cleanse my palate. Now it's time to eat the crackers. I'm going to open them from this end because the other end has crumblies in it. You like that one? I'm using my teeth to open all the packaging. I'm going to you a dainty lady. A delicate female specimen. Oh, 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 oh. This is, this is going to be a mess. Like I opened them on the side, and I should have. Well, I guess they're already broken. Hmm. That's what I was hoping is true. Baby bake crackers, the arrowroot crackers. Uh, nice, light, thin, crispy, vanilla wheat, vanilla cookie. Uh. I love me an arrowroot cracker. And I know you've heard me say this before. I love things that are sweet and bland, such as white cake and arrowroot. Mm. Mm, so good. All right. Definitely. Definitely in the top. All right, let's try this chihuahua. It's a hell of a Krawalowska by E. Weedle. <laughs> a butter-based halibut candy is a traditional treat that is crumbler in texture and made from tahini. Wait. <laughs> I mixed up the description. So the, <laughs> the one I read for the other bar for the Powalik is this one. Um, the Powalik. Yeah. That's, uh, that's your joke. Okay, anyway, I have that up. <laughs> Let's try this sesame seed paste tabla. Uh, sorry, I'll just read it again anyway. <clears throat> Crumbly texture and it's made from tahini, sesame paste, and other nut butter such as sunflower seed butter. All right. 
I'm gonna have to try that other one again so you can read the description and get a real read on it. A <laughs> real read. <laughs> ah, come on. Who makes a chocolate bar this hard to get into? Let's try one. Oh, here we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, excuse me, I belched. Okay, oh, I wasn't expecting this. It isn't a chocolate bar. I don't know if I've ever had anything like this. And I don't know how I feel about it. And I certainly don't know how to describe it. It's like dehydrated peanut butter. It crumbles and it melts like fudge. It has the mouthfeel of a whipped peanut butter. I can definitely taste the peanuts and I can definitely taste the sesame seeds for sure. That was very unique. Okay, where is this? Is this the Powell Wax? So we'll read this again. Because <clears throat> it's got a better flavor. Or a better uh, description of the flavor. No, I did read that one. I'm on crack. Okay, we're good. We're good. Oh. Okay, we're going to go with the Danusia. Now, this one to me looks like the one that's like the, with the regal chocolate bar like the eclair or something like that you know what I mean not uh not one that's geared towards kids but they're geared towards an adult woman that just really needs some chocolate because sometimes the adult women just really need some chocolate oh come on you there's a spot and it says open I assume that's what it says but it's not mm -mm. Nope. Uh -uh. All right. Hmm. Okay. Denuncia is a confection that exemplifies the artistry of Polish chocolate craftsmanship. This exquisite chocolate bar offers a classic and indulgent chocolate experience that has been cherished for generations. Mm. Since 1918, it says on it. Mm. It is a dark chocolate, and it's got like a, again, with the boozy chocolate filling. Like, you know, these little chocolate bottles of liqueurs you get. That's the kind of filling that these things, and I'm saying boozy, that's what it's reminding me of. All right, we got two more things left. We got this Grzeski. <laughs> Wayne Grzeski? Got some Canadian sorry. All right, commonly known as Milk Wafers is a popular Polish confectionery treat. These wafers are beloved for de their delightful combination of crispy, thin, layers of wafer and a rich creamy milk filling. Well, let's see. Ooh. Hey, it's another wafer. And the chocolate is everywhere. Mm. Mm. I didn't think I'd be able to tell the difference between the two because they look very similar. But this one definitely is saltier, and this one is peanutier. Peanutier. I think I like this one more than the other one. And again, chocolate on my fingers because it's good chocolate. Oh, I'm just covered in crumbs. All right, the grand finale. Princessa Longa. Boom. This one says, <clears throat> well, it says it's pink pina colada, but it's not. All right. Princessa by Nestle is a deli 
little delicious wafer layered with pineapple coconut cream. So this is saying that it's a pina colada flavored one and the packaging looks a little different. So I don't think this is a pina colada flavored one. Um, but again, it's just a, it's a wafer bar. Um, and yeah, let's try her out. Looks like it's coconut and white chocolate. I like coconut and white chocolate. I am down. Oh, oh, oh. Wonder if the pink pina colada one was pink. Smells of coconut like, like, remember those tins of cookies that grandma gets so you can get opened up and now like, it smells like a coconut essence. That's this. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. I can see how the one described here, the pink pina colada one, would be extra delicious with the fucking pineapple coconut milk cream because I'm tasting this and it's taking me to like Thailand sticky toffee pudding and I'm looking for my mango because, or not, not sticky, mango sticky rice in Thailand and I'm looking for my mango with this. It's very tasty. Mmm. All right. Delicious. Now, to decide on the order from which they're best and worst. What was my least favorite? The chips. Second least favorite was probably, uh oh, probably that. <laughs> I'm going to say the Denusia. It's just too, too refined for me. Uh, so that's 10, 9. We're going to go. Definitely going to go with an eight on the uh, Chawala and the Hevla Tahini Paste Mayhem. Um, then, then, I really like these and I really like these and and this. The McKenzie, I'm going to call this a seven. I'm going to go with the Prince Polo as a six. A five for the Drees. Four for the big, big crackers because, you know, standard era root didn't really blow my mind. Three. Oh, I counted incorrectly, apparently. All right. So, <laughs> as usual, I messed this part up. So, one for the princess set, two for the clown uh, candy chocolate coated peanuts, um, three for the Pawali. Four for the Grzeski, five for the Prince Polo, six for the Baby, seven for the Drace, eight for the Mackenzie Key, <laughs> nine for the Chihuahua, and ten for the Denise. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> I think you get the point no matter how wrong I've gotten it how many times. <laughs> awesome. I want to thank Try Treat. Uh, once again, for sending me a snack crate to review. I really enjoy going to Poland with you. I love me a taste adventure. Um, if you want to try a snack crate from Try Treats, just follow the links below down there. We have a promo code right here that'll get you 15% off your first order on a snack crate. And you get these uh, just auto delivered to your house as a monthly treat. And what a pleasant surprise to get in the mail. Um, and what a great Christmas gift for somebody that you don't know what they like or not. Anywho, I hope everybody enjoyed this uh, review as much as I did. I really did enjoy these treats and I cannot wait to get more of these up in my mouth. Oh, yeah. Love me some nuts. Mm. If you want to see more of me, Sassy Stacy, you can head on over to YouTube, Instagram, OnlyFans, Patreon, and TikTok. Those are my venues, and you'll find all the links to that down below. And also, if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button so you can see when I post videos. Um, and ding the dinger so you can see when I go. And uh, do like live chats and stuff when I do Insta premieres on the videos and stuff. Anyway, it's been so fun hanging out with you guys. And I cannot wait 
for you to see what comes next. Sassy Stacy out. Mm. Woo!